Well, I once again hang out by myself. Today is Saturday, July 6th. Hello, I just made a video on midnight. This morning, midnight. Last night, technically. Um, Hold on one second. I love how they, I'm not going to show it, but they poured fucking, see one of my, milk is one of those foods that I definitely, it's not a food, but one of those liquids used for food, obviously, hello, uh, everybody knows what milk is, um, that I look out for because, you know, you, you can never trust that shit, you know, it'll be fine, and then. It'll, it'll just fucking be spoiled and chunky in the end. And they poured milk, which turned into chunky yogurt like and smells fucking awful. I can't do that shit. I can't do that smell. It's one of the worst smells, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, hi. So it's 1.15 in the afternoon. This is technically part two, I guess. Uh, so... Continuing on from yesterday's video, it was a uh, spoiler alert, I suppose, about Maxine again. This is the last video. I forgot to mention this. It was pretty cool that Gustavo Frank <laughs> was in the movie. It was cool that Kevin Bacon was in the movie. It was, I don't know the guy's name, but the guy who plays the cop, the the, ma the male cop. And the, you know, the characters were pretty cool and the director and the fact that they... Um, feature psycho the psycho set and a bunch of sets like that in those movies i thought that was uh i thought that was pretty cool hold on one second but yeah the movie could have been done a little better honestly uh it was it, it, technically now that i look at it i guess it is a slasher film but at the same time it's just like slasher films with off-screen kills just suck, honestly. They just really suck where most of the kills are off-screen or not done well right if they were off-screen, right? So, you know, I, re I remember that I forgot that the two cops got killed by the dad, basically. Um, both were off-screen, you know, all of Maxine's friends except for the black the the gay, the gay guy, the black dude, uh, was killed off screen. You know, he was the only one killed on screen with the weapon. But besides everybody in the shootout at the end and the dad. I hate it when my nose is dry. But um, it was an okay movie. It's just, it wasn't really all that. But the casting was cool. The... Yeah, I got a Mason World of Gumball behind me. I'm not even watching it, honestly. Uh, it was an okay movie, you know, for what it was. It just wasn't really a slasher, but I guess it was, considering that it was a killer killing a bunch of people. Uh, a good amount of people in that movie, but it wasn't really that impressive of a slasher film. And it wasn't that brutal, you know, so... But, um... Yeah, it was okay. But turning this shit down. I'm I'm probably gonna change it too. I don't even care for this show, honestly. FX why is Halloween on? On FX This is seventy eight? Oh it's twenty eighteen. I think I know why. Um around this time about a couple more weeks in for Spirit Halloween, they actually they actually start to hire people around this time. So, I don't know. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of Halloween videos, you know, like uh, Halloween decorations from Party City. Party St City is still a thing, apparently. Um, you know, I've been noticing a, a bit more Halloween-like videos. People are getting ready for that. Then again, we got like three more months left of that until then. You know, two more months till my birthday, and then the next thing you know, I'll already be by Christmas in in the next year. You know, 
So, but yeah, so, um, yeah, Maxine was cool. We're gonna see Deadpool in, in a few Fridays from now. Um, yeah, so, it, it was, it was mid. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. But, I mean, it was good. It was okay, but it was more so just, nah, it, it, it was what it was. The worst one, it, it was definitely not, it was the worst one out of the three, though. Maxine was the worst one out of the three. X and Pearl, they're, they're good for their own reasons, but they were both good for being what they were. But Maxine was just kind of like an epilogue thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's like the John Marston part of the story for Red Dead Redemption, if that makes sense. You know, where the past comes back to haunt that character. That's pretty much what Maxine was. That's a dead person. The 20, It's the same thing with the Halloween movies. This was what I mentioned last night. The, um... The, uh... 2018 movie was super fun to watch. We actually watched this movie in theaters back when it came out. Real impressive movie, honestly. But they fucking dumbed it down for Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, which... Wasn't really that good. Halloween Ends wasn't that good. Halloween Kills kind of falls behind that, but it's better than Ends. So... I don't know. I don't know what it is with these movie trilogies and series. Star Wars does the same thing. Like, like the, the, the Force Awakens was good, but The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker, it just fucked it up. It just fucked the movies up, you know? That's what Maxine kind of did, but it was definitely not as bad as those, the Halloween and uh, Star Wars movies. So... So, uh, yeah, but I'm just chilling. I don't know. I might have something going tonight. Not sure. So, yeah, nice day today. So, yeah, just wanted to tell the positive things about Maxine, I guess. So, but I watched it. So, that's enough of that for right now. But, yep.